the final game of the day between Blacklist International going up against Echo. Oof. Early on, let's take a look at that battle spell. It's going to be Sanford on that joy, so the very oppressive EXP laner with the Vengeance yet again. And it will be called TZ playing that Grog in the jungle. Let's see if this unorthodox pick really pays off. Note though, Edward is going with the sprint, first of all, and Haji has the impure rage, so he might just go for something a lot more aggressive. And there we go. Now we gotta confirm it. Now we have to solidify. Benny Cutie is the first player to reach 100 kills in M4. And now Saji, HP very, very low. Will he die? Oh, he does. Haji draws first blood. And I'm not even sure where that purple buff went. But Sanford looking for more, bumps into four members of Blacklist a little too early, too soon for comfort. Blacklist now 500 gold ahead. This is a Demon Slayer Grok in the jungle, so you have to question what exactly is the plan. Will he go for damage items and abuse the Grok's passive? Or will he go full tank and try and be another counter-engaged tool as Wise is just oppressively counter jungling him. Oh, Appraiser's Wrath set in. Wise already ahead. Very low now. Oh, my Venus needs to heal. King Wise. Oh, there's a Guardian's Barrier. Ooh. Just lacking enough. One HP Wise walks away. Oh. Grandma, look at that. One HP all across the board. And yeah, you talked about it. Carl Teasy here with the crowd. We're going to look at his itemization, but I kind of feel like the proper way is to build like maybe at least a BOD to have a lot of armor on yourself. And then possibly for the Eve, a Radiant Armor, and then after that, you know what? You can do whatever you want, because now, the bottom side of the map, Oheb, as well as Benny Cutie, looks like they're not going to be too aggressive just, just yet. And speaking of aggressive, we can see that Benny Cutie is now respecting, understands the stakes right here, has a Purified just in case, but fight breaks out. Oh, there's a setup! No, but blast on the three! Plus a wild charge! Kaldizi very low, doing the power of nature, and Y still gets it! Oh, Echo's a little skittish, while Blacklist pushes them all out with a four-man rotation. Blacklist owning the first two minutes. Yeah, unfortunate, but Carl Teasy used his retribution a little bit early. Now, looking at the items, looking at the Grok, just a molten essence to be sure that he can stay in the jungle, he can clear a little bit faster. But other than that, is there anything worth talking about here? I guess for both mid laners, they want to spam spells out, so they're building towards the Enchanted Talisman, which will, you know, which will be a big factor here, because later on, there's going to be a lot of long-distance fights, but you can see that Haji actually has a lot more gold compared to uh, Sanji because of that roam early on that did not pay off, so that's a bit unfortunate, but Blacklist here will be the one controlling the tempo, as Echo is just waiting for an opportunity, I guess, to go for a big fight in the mid-game, perhaps once the turtle spawns. Right now, looking at the emblem setup, so far, so good. Nothing too much to report. Sanford here, seeing wise. Sanford putting pressure onto Haji. But doesn't look like he could commit too much, but Haji now, 50% HP gone. Down Ooh. here at the bottom, Yaoi wants to engage, but none is found. Enough to push them away. Guardian's Barrier set up by Carl TZ. Benny Cutie laying down the pinwheels. Haji spots him. There's some CC from Wise. Oh my Venus slowing them down. Healing up Haji. Echo knows this is not a good spot to disengage. Blacklist starting the Ube down here in the gold lane. What's Echo to do? Another Guardian's Barrier from Carl Teasy. Real world manipulation set in by Haji. Wise confirms the kill onto Sanji. Two and none so far. 2k ahead. Yaoi's in trouble. Void Crystal set in. Oheb going in behind enemy lines. Yaoi gets taken down. Appraiser's rat set in by Wise. Sanford trying to get something back here. Dancing around these three members. Benny Cutie bites us as well. Edward finds his man. Sanford's in trouble. Oh, the humanity. Blacklist has dominated bottom lane and are now going to convert into turtle. Echo just funnel one by one right here and Cartesi now left alone trying to go against four people yet again. Oh, knocked up as well forces a wild charge on him. There's a grab grab by Edward. Can he deal enough damage? The answer gonna be yes. With the help of Haji, Numenon Blast from Yaoi, setting Edward where he needs to be. Why is still on the turtle? Real world manipulation here by Haji. Swiping away, tapping, tapping, tapping. Get this man, down goes Sanji. Sanford does shut down Haji though. Too late 
for that turtle shield, and Omai Venus could not heal Haji. The KDA machine suffers its first death. Excuse me, Kuda machine. Right now, Omai Venus 007, 100% kill participation. And it's very easy to do that when you're all clumped up together. Five men walk down, make sure we're gonna stay here, and we're not gonna go home empty handed. Looking at the items now, Oheb already having that Blade of Despair. That's a lot of damage. It's big damn, like Naisu likes to say. But Haji has rushed the Ice Queen's wand because he has a bit more mana regeneration from the Impure Wrath Emblem. So this is why he went for it. It's a more aggressive ch uh, choice that allows you to have a lot more crowd control, a lot more damage early on in the game. And you can see that it's paying off. And now, why is it just pushing the advantage again? 3.5k ahead in five minutes, that's not easy to achieve. And he's got four members on top of him. Plus a Numenor Blast, canceled by Yaoi. Appraiser's Wrath, they oblige. Flickering on forward, Oheb finds one, but Yaoi puts up the bell mark at the right time. Oheb in trouble. Oh my Venus heals him up. Ooh. Carl DD looking for one. Sanji finishes the job. The old from the Estes. Oh my Venus, not enough to keep the Filipino sniper alive. Can they punish Carl DZ? Put the Bogartis barrier. Sanji dropping the shadow energies. Carl DZ gonna fall. Wise takes him down. Edward dancing around Sanford. A lot of damage put on this mid lane tier one throughout that skirmish. Unfortunately for Blacklist, though, throughout all this chaotic chain of events, Benny Cutie has not been able to secure a single kill as Sanford once again goes in aggressive. Oh, they're not done underneath. Tier 1 Ooh. in mid, Sanford is threatened with a split split. Can Edward get him? Agent Zero wants his man. Sanford a little too fast. Oh, almost triggers the grab grab there before it timed out. Okay, right now they're being a little bit too aggressive. They're not letting any talking points from any of us. 3.1k gold lead by Blacklist. And I can definitely see right now, looking at how they're moving around, there's a lot of macro plays like, okay, you go here, I go there. We need to secure the turtle. Oh, and we also got to fight. Everyone, make sure you know what you're going to do. But with that being said, Echo, right now it looks like they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Card easy, 0, 2, and 0. Sanji, 1, 3, and 1. Blacklist, they're not... They're not waiting, they still want to push. Oh, Sanford, you want to dance? Let's dance, Carl Tizi, push in the... What? I... That's not going to happen, not like this, says Haji. That was a close call. I think even Echo wasn't ready for that fight. But wait, look, they were looking for a clap back from behind. Benny Cutie shuts down King Wise on my penis as well, stunned by the Numenon Blast. And here's the punish. Pops the ult, gets the heal, but Benny Cutie still gets the kill. Carl DZ survives with one HP. OM gets a trade. One for two. A little bit of breathing room for Echo, but it's not done. Sanford pops the vengeance. A little too much damage there. Edward gets the kill. Yaoi needs to run here. He can't stay for too long. It's so chaotic, and sometimes the late game marksman can really value from this kind of exchange. But Benny Cutie, we saw that his golden staff was completed at about seven minutes, so it's, it's quite a bit late. And I think he's not as strong as we would expect him to be. But look at Oham, so, so low. That was so close, but right now, Edward moving forward, putting a little bit of pressure onto Sanji. And now, Echo, especially how Sanford is playing the joy. I think they can still fight this one, which, side note, whoever named this hero Joy, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's Sly because this is more like a frustration than Joy. Exactly, it's kind of like, it's kind of sarcasm, irony, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's just not, it's not, uh, not a joyful experience going up against this Joy. It's an irony. It's but an irony. Look at Haji though, that is pain, man. Two of the ones completed, he has slow and he has that extra bit of DPS coming in and any kind of tanky member, Carl TZ as well as Yaoi, will be suffering from the poke damage. Oh, look at the setup of Yaoi, comes oh. in, Flitter with the Numenon Blast and Benny Cutie shredding wise. He's gonna get out of here. Oh my Venus able to get in the heal. Haji goes down, Sanford. Mission accomplished, that's one man down from Blacklist International, making this Lord a trivial pursuit for Blacklist. I'm not sure if they want this. They're still going. Oh my Venus healing up wise. Blacklist not backing down. That's that's a joy for it because right now, Sanford with this joy for it is really putting too much pressure onto Blacklist because they want to stick together, but the more they stick together, the more they're absorbing a little bit too much damage. Now Carl Teasy is giving a lot of information. No one knows that 
Yowie is there. Black Liz right now, they're gonna get engaged. They saw no him, and they're gonna knock him up with a wild charge. Bandy Cutie gets the kill. Oh my Venus tried. They really did. And now Haji's gonna keep Sanford down. Pops the vengeance. Another man advantage for Echo. But what do they make of it? Ooh, it's, it's just so difficult. They can't really fight without Oheb here. He's one of the core damage dealers in this early game on that early game hero, the Brody. He also provides a good deal of crowd control. So without him around, it's just so difficult for Blacklist to try and get a dominant control over the Lord Pit. And Echo, they realize this chance and they're trying to wait, look for wait, another wait, wait, wait. Conceal, conceal, conceal. They get the stun on the Edward. They collapse on him, forcing a split split. Guardian's barrier put up by Carl TZ. This whole time wise, start up the Lord with the pull. It gets reset. And right now, look at Sanford. Look at Betty Cutie. This is the one that's gonna make the play happen. Edward dashing forward. Carl TZ getting damage on Oheb fighting. Torn apart memory, Pop and Carl DZ, and that gives Blacklist a clear go signal. Yaoi with the Numenum Blast, only stunning Agent Zero. Oh my Venus with the ult, healing them up. Haji putting up a barrier. You are not going through the real world manipulation. We will take Lord. All this while, oh, I have pushed mid. Blacklist wastes no time at all. Getting the Lord, getting turrets in the same breath as well. The top side though, that's a huge wave that will take a turret down for Echo. So a silver lining for the Orcas, but they need to find a way to fight in a more reliable fashion. Is, it just, is it just me or is, is Echo always setting up for a split push win? I don't know, man, because right now, Blacklist, it looks like they got to have their cake and eat it too. If Echo is really setting up for this potential split, they gotta make sure that three or four members can hang on to the entire team of Blacklist that is coming down bottom. Looking like they're putting pressure. Oh, now he's in front. Real revelation set in by Haji. And there's a split split already by Edward breaking them up. Yaoi gets pulled in. Lord's still swinging away. There's a wild charge plus a Numenon blast, but Yaoi already bites in Appraiser's Wrath. Set Carl DZ down low enough for Oheb to finish him off. That's 3v5. Blacks International slowly but surely marching through this bottom lane inhibitor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not looking good for Echo. Two members down, they can see they're gonna try and defend their mid base turret, but Blacklist, they're moving so quick and they might still keep, keep going. Oh no, there's not enough AoE here. Another turn apart memory. Haji pops a reward manipulation. Down goes Sanford. Sanji's gonna fight it as well. Haji takes him down, and Blacklist International is the first Filipino team to confirm a grand finals spot. Right now, looking in the room. Looking inside the stage. This, again, the more we look at it, the more possibility, like, there is a chance. Back to back champions. Ooh. That will be a chance for Blacklist International to make history if it all plays out, like we mentioned, Lavelle. But man, it was a tough fight against Echo right here, but they come out on top through all the struggles, through all the adaptations, all the confusion, they eventually still reign supreme on the top in the first part of the Grand Finals.